When you see a drop chance, it's usually one over some number. Then it stands to reason that that number is the number of completions of an activity you need to get what you want, right? Yes, but there's a bit more to it. For drop chances, the rate will hold true across the entire player base of a game, but it may not hold true for individuals. To give the short version, random samples will converge to the actual average, but that's as n goes to infinity. That's not easy to approach as a single player without days of farming. If you want to know more about this, you can check out these Wikipedia pages which I've linked below. Quite literally, that number of completions mentioned earlier is the expectation. Now, let's talk about guarantees. You can look at this as, how many runs can I reasonably go without getting what I want? So we have our chance of not getting the drop, some probability p, to the number of runs, let's call this k, is less than some percent. Let's say 1% for now. Before getting into the next part, I want you to repeat after me. A logarithm is an exponent. 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 Alright, good? Good. So we apply log to both sides, then because logarithm is an exponent, we can put k out in front. Then divide by log p, which will be negative because p is less than 1, and this is our number. So let's say our drop chance is 1 over 4. Then our chance of not getting a drop is 3 over 4, and we need 16 runs to have a 99% chance of getting a drop. If we only care about 90%, then we just have log of 0.1 on top, which gives a negative 1. Similarly, for 99.9%, we have log of 0.001 on top, which is negative 3. Thanks for listening to this quick math explainer. I see a lot of people complain about RNG a lot, and to be fair, it sucks sometimes. Just know that it takes a while for drop rates to actually shake out to what you expect them to be, and that's just how math works. That's not the fault of any particular person.